Hey guys, my name is Jameer Blanco. I'm a senior character creature artist at Blizzard Cinematics, and I've been using ZBrush for over 14 years. ZBrush for me has been what some people like to call a godsend. It's the bread and butter to my craft. It's honestly what got me into doing CGI for games and films in the first place. Before ZBrush, it just seemed so difficult. Like, how do people even make CGI characters? Maya back then, it's the only thing I knew with nerves, curves, and poly modeling, and it was not fun. It wasn't until I discovered ZBrush and really started seeing what it's capable of that things started to click. That was back when Dynamesh came out and everybody's mind was blown, right? You can now digitally sculpt anything you want without having to worry about topology, resolution, the only limits your imagination. That's when I was like, okay, this is crazy. This is fun. I can see myself doing this for a living. And that's really how I started using ZBrush. I was doing a lot of 3D stuff before ZBrush, but it wasn't until I incorporated it into my workflow that my art really started to shine and go to the next level. And as technology continues to evolve, so does ZBrush, and it doesn't surprise me that they continue to be at the forefront of innovation and digital sculpting after more than a decade. Is that? Yeah, that's me, I'm sorry. Sorry, you want me to make a character for your film? Okay, one minute. All right, guys, sorry, gotta get back into ZBrush. See ya.